Hi right, guys, so I got a video today. Um, a recap. I went to the Red Sox game last night against the Houston Astros, and Red Sox won eight to four. So I decided that I would. Um, I didn't get there early enough to um try to get any autographs before the game, but I stayed after the game and graphed at the um players' parking lot. And, like, a lot of pe players came out and, like, didn't sign at all. They would, like, come out, get their cars, and, like, not even come anywhere near the fans. And then there were, I think there were only, like, three... I stayed out there for, like, maybe 45 minutes. There were, like, three total that, like, walked by all the fans and signed autographs. And I got two of them. The other one, I had no clue who it was. I think it was one of the relievers, so... Start off first, got a Daniel Nava on a, um, one of these little ice cream bottles. And he signed it with a black sharpie. I mean, I only had a black sharpie, so it doesn't show up that well, but it's not that hard. So I'm one of the 100 years from last year. You're probably not even going to be able to see if it does that much. Okay. You, you can kind of see it, but it's much easier to see than that in person. So, um, Daniel Nava, he, um, inscribed his number and 413. So. That's that. Then second, I got, um, two Johnny Gomes autos. Um, I had someone else with me, so that's how we got the other one. Um, one is on a really dumpy ball. One of these, um, official softy, soft balls. One of these. And I guess he does not sweet spot. So, we have Johnny Gomes. And he glares at stuff. And on a Rawling official league ball in Sharpie. Johnny Gomes. This one looks nicer. So, that's what I got. That's all I got. Um, I'd possibly move one of the Johnny Gomes, probably the one on this ball, on this softball. So, um, let me know what you guys think, and thanks.